wine in Portugal is not only part of the culture, it's part of the way of life. And uh, it's difficult, it's hard to imagine a meal without wine in Portugal. There's a huge diversity of Portuguese wines. You have a different wine for any, any kind of food with 250 different varietals and uh, a lot of different regions with a lot of different climates, you can produce many different kinds of wine. And uh, those wines are very adaptable. Those wines are wines that match any food you can imagine. I think uh, people don't know much about Portuguese uh, cuisine and I think worldwide the uh, most famous thing I would say would be our sardines and our pesce de nata that I think everyone pretty much knows but people don't really understand about Portuguese gastronomy. Uh, so I consider Portuguese gastronomy to be better than Spanish or French or English but then that goes to personal taste and what I found by working here in the Algarve is that people love the food once they try and also what I do here at Mumo I'm trying to bring out food from the past so I try to get flavors and traditions out to the table that most Main Street restaurants have forgotten about it or they do it differently and they don't respect tradition so once people come here they don't get a choice to choose the menu because I've already chosen for them and once they try they say how amazing this is and how they will be able to read the Portuguese menu much better now that I've introduced them to uh, certain foods. Our wines, they are too cheap. When I say ours, it's, all, it's not my wines, it's wines from Portugal. And you, when you receive winemakers from all over the world that try a five, six, ten euro wine, they think that is crazy the price that we, we ask for that. Value for money, it's, uh, it's good because uh, when, you, when you pick a $20 French wine or, or Italian wine, you can get much better in Portugal for, for the same price. But uh, that's not enough. Uh, we have to elevate the quality of Portuguese wines, we have to, inc to increase the price of Portuguese wines and uh, it become known uh, all over the place, known in, in export markets, not for producing very good wines at a very affordable price, but to produce top-class wines with a lot of history, with a lot of culture behind. The owner of a restaurant, for example, he, uh, he would say, oh, your wines are fantastic. But then my, my consumer, my client come and he's not ordering Portuguese wines or I need to do an extra work to let him uh, know about Portuguese wines. The perception is great. Um, it's already sold? No, you have to work on it. You have to tell the story, you have to explain a little bit. I remember that in 2012 I went to the United States and I was saying that I was a winemaker from Portugal and uh, yeah, I'm from Douro and it was where? I say yeah, Douro, port wine, port wine, near Spain. You know the feeling that people didn't know about Portugal. 
there was a lack of brands of Portugal. The French have done it very well. Uh, for any product, not only wine, but for any product. When I arrive to the world and I say, I'm producing this item in France, it had already a net value, and Portugal doesn't have that. Portugal is not very known because we don't have a lot of people just go out there and sell wine. Our productions in Portugal are very low, so we have a lot of the denominations, different regions in Portugal for wine, but we don't have a lot of massive productions like France or like Spain or Italy. Our production are really, really limited. As you can see, the production is, <laughs> is very small. One of the biggest problems that you have in Portugal concerning wines are the yields. In one hectare, you can produce four tonnels in Douro Valley, here. In Australia, they produce in one hectare 16,000 tonnels. Here in Freixo Paracint is a small village that only have 2,000 and a half people living every day. It's very difficult to arrange people to work in wine hearts or inside the winery. For example, when I talk to a people, oh, I want to contact, contact you to work in the, in the office. Do you know about Excel or computers? I have answers like, yes, yes, I know a computer's Facebook. It's very difficult to arrange people to work in the programs and computers that understand. The, the project Portugal 2020 and the others uh, help us to, to try to put people living in, in this small building. It's difficult to compete at the very entry level wine. Uh, because the production costs in Portugal are very high. So we cannot compete at the very entry level. We, we can compete, you can compete at premium level. Uh, you can compete uh, on the $10 wine, for instance, because uh, a $10 Portuguese wine is far better than a $10 French wine or Spanish wine or Italian wine. And then you can compete uh, on the high level of the pyramid. You can compete uh, uh, on the $30, $40, $50 wine. Our territory is small, although we have 14 wine regions and then inside each wine region, sub-regions. On the production side, it makes sense because we are a small country but very diverse in terms of weather, uh, soils, geography, a lot of different wines. Then it's not easy to explain Portuguese wine because we have a lot. We are here in what we call the experimental vineyard. So when we learned that Portugal had so many different types of grapes, we thought that's a great idea. We would like to have that as well to learn. So here we have about 50 different types of grapes. We have four or five plants of each type. And this is just for us to, to see how they develop, how they mature. There are a lot of foreigners buying uh, properties in, in Portugal. It's important, of course, because it brings more money to the, to the business, but uh, uh, it will be much more important if the, those foreigners will bring not only the money, but the know-how. Uh, the know-how, not the know-how of producing wine, because we have that know-how in Portugal, but the know-how of selling wine, uh, the know-how uh, uh, that will be able to open markets. We have been uh, getting, buying wines from a Portuguese importer in Switzerland who's got some of the top names and we actually had the opportunity at a, quite an early stage to meet up with a lot of the really big uh, producers that produce quality wine. Um, so we were absolutely convinced that in Portugal as such uh, there are fantastic wines. You have an explosion of people that want to, to be part, they want to know the Douro Valley. The Douro Valley is very, very beautiful and very, very special. So in Portugal, you have something new since 10 years that are the, the tourism. The tourism in Lisbon and Porto is amazing. And right now we start to have some people that are coming for the interior of the, of the, the Portugal. It's good to have the doors open 
we can show people what we are doing. More than promoting only our wine, also we are promoting the region. We want to promote this experience and this knowledge to the, to the person, for them to try the wine where it's made. Most of the people coming are wine lovers, because when they book is already a wine dinner, so they are more or less, but they have some interests about wine. The feedback is really positive. Uh, they are super well impressed with our wines, usually also happy because they understand um, it's a very competitive wines in comparison with what they are used to drink, wines from other parts of the globe. And what I like more is that I think they live very curious about Portuguese wines, meaning in here, in my supper club, they have a chance to begin to discover Portuguese wines, but I think that after leaving, they will continue that discovery already back home. The urge uh, uh, for, dif for the difference, the urge for singularity, uh, uh, I would say they will push those consumers into that uh, awareness of Portuguese wines. Uh, because, of course, the, the, the market is saturated with a lot of uh, wineries, a lot of labels, uh, a lot of uh, grape varietals, but uh, we can offer difference. And uh, more and more people are looking for difference. People start to promote more, to go more outside, to show their products. We have more than 250 indigenous Portuguese grapes. It's something unique. We have the old vines that you are speaking like with 89, 100 years old. This is the world of difference that we have. We don't have to be ashamed of showing what we do. And I think in some point, is what happened. We are a little bit ashamed of what we do, but in the end, when you show it, people like it. Now I feel that when I go outside, that people understand and they know what is Douro wine, what is Lentejo wine, what is wine from Portugal.